Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the Lenko spot welder. Uh, we use this in uh, restoring a lot of old vehicles, doing sheet metal work, rust repair, and I mean you can you can use this for a lot of different things for fabrication, metal fabrication, sheet metal fabrication. And I get a lot of people asking about it, why don't you use a MIG welder for putting patch panels on cars? Well, you can, but a MIG welder, you're constantly doing the, you know, the little spots with it, like uh, stitch welding. And you constantly have to go back and, and grind all the welds down, the bumps. These welders here, the Lenko Spot Welder, um, is a machine that's been around for a while, but not many people use it. it you know, it's a nice machine. They they retail for about fifteen hundred to, um, actually right now, but probably about sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars. And this is one of the easiest machines to use for doing sheet metal repair work, for doing rust repair on cars. And I got a, you know, I have a lot of friends asking me about the machine, you know, how it works and everything. So today I'm going to do a little video and just weld up a couple pieces of sheet metal and show you the spot repair and, and, and how easy this works for restoration work for you know doing your older cars and, and rust repair or any kind of fabrication I mean it's really a nice machine so stand by and uh, I'm gonna set it up and plug everything in and get some sheet metal together and we'll do a little video here for you okay so before we get uh, going with the video on spot welding uh, I just thought I'd show you a little bit more about the welder itself. This is the front of the, the control panel, the, the, the front of the welder. And it's got your off and on switch on this side here. And this is a weld timer control, so it's like 1 to 10. And it's basically like 1 second, 2 seconds for, for timing the weld. And you kind of get the hang of that once you start working. When you're doing sheet metal work, what you would do when you're welding, these, these, these are the hand grips that you weld with. When you're doing the welding, you would actually pull the trigger right here and hold the weld, the welder handle on the sheet metal. And you'll see the sheet metal get hot while it's welding, it'll turn red. And the timer, what the timer does is it, one second time, it'll, it'll shut off in one second. You set it to four or five, it'll shut off at four or five seconds. Basically, the sheet metal here, uh, it's a thinner sheet metal that I'm just going to be using. I probably won't go more than four, three or four seconds. And, and when you weld, do the spot welds, you get these little divots, the marks in the welder uh, leaves. You can see how it welds, the, the little circles, which you would later grind off, grind down. And you got almost a flat surface there versus... If you use a MIG, you'd be stitch welding the seam, building up with you know a, a weld line that you would have to grind down smooth before you even do your body work. This, when you grind it down, it's just about smooth. I mean, already, it, you know, you're not putting the extra effort or time into it. So I'm just giving you an idea of what to look for when I start welding to show you. Uh, again, that's the hand grips. It's two hand grips, so. Right now I'm holding the camera so I can't show you, but I would be using to weld this together like that. I would be putting one grip here and one at another spot on, the, on that sheet metal along that seam. I would be doing two spots at one time welding it. And it's really amazing how this thing works and, and the money you would save in time buying one of these machines. Um, while you're doing your restoration work, or if you had body work, you'd work in your own car or fabrication, the money you would save on labor with this machine is unbelievable. And, you know, it's a 220 plug. It comes with probably, I forgot what that is, but it's 20 or 25 feet of cord. You know, you have to plug it into your 220, uh, 240 source. So, I'm going to set it up and we'll get going here in a minute. Alright, 
so I'm back. Uh, I got the welder plugged in, set up. So we got this sheet metal. Uh, it's not too thick. It's probably probably 20 gauge, 18, 20 gauge. But this is something that you would use in a car when you're doing rust repair. Uh, if you have a quarter panel that's rusted, you would take a piece, you know, with a hole down here, you would take a piece of sheet metal and grind down the sheet metal on the car and the quarter panel and clean up the metal that you the patch panel you put it on there and you would put it on top of that. Now you would normally on the car put some clamps on there, vice grips to hold it together so you're forming a thin line on there. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna lay it here on the table to show how the spot welder actually works. And I'm gonna put the patch panel, I cleaned it up. Sheet metal, I got the four inch uh, grinder, brass grinder, and I cleaned the sheet metal up here, I ground it down. And I did the same on the patch panel on both sides, the, so it's clean metal. So, I'm gonna actually put it right there. I'm going to put a series of welds all the way across the panel and to show you how easy something like this is and how, how useful this is working in a body shop. So I got the weld timer control. I got it set up four. Uh, it's probably probably not the right area for that so we'll, we'll see once we get going how it works. Turn it on. You can see the light comes on. And we got two handles. It's a resistance welder. So basically I'm going to overlap this for the sake of the video probably about an inch, inch and a half onto the other panel. And I'm going to hold the welder there, pinpoint it. I'll take the one, the second one, I put it over here. And you hold it firm, you push it down and I'm going to pull the trigger on the welder. Okay so it shut off pretty quick. I go a little bit higher on the, on the I'm gonna go up maybe a five. Um, and you can see the welder put the little spot on there where it welds. So I'm, I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna go a little a little bit away from that. And so it's a heat control. And you see a glow, you can you can see the heat in there as you as you're doing it. Now when you're doing the sheet metal like this or even on a car, lay the controls down to show you. I mean you got a tight weld, it's it's already solid and Look how flat that is. I mean, it's hot. I got my gloves on. I don't want to touch it because it's hot. But it's flat. So when you're doing this on a car, sheet metal work for patch panel, look how smooth that is. And when you were done welding, what you do is just go over it and clean up the, the welds. And then you would put your um, aluminum putty or bondo, whatever it is you want to use for, for your body work. Normally we would use like it's uh it's an all metal body filler for the first coat that's to seal that up. But we would go do welds all the way across this a series of welds. And the difference in using this versus a MIG, if you use a MIG, you're gonna have that big weld. You're gonna you're gonna do a, a spot weld here, here a stitch weld across, let it cool off, take a while, take take your you know. For everything to cool off after you put you know five or six of them on there then you go back do another five or six and you keep going until you have a solid bead all the way across there so you got a, a big bead going across there and it takes a while to do that do that because you got to keep letting the metal cool down so you warp don't warp it this you really not getting the warp on there because you're holding the metal in place with, with the the handles. And then you would go back when you're done. And go over the welds 
and you know, five, ten seconds, you're done. You're ready to do your body work. I mean, everything's smooth. You don't have to sit and grind that big bead down. So I'm going to go all the way across. I'm going to keep welding, put in the spots all the way across this. Uh, normally, we would put put a series all the way across. You want you want to make sure that the you want to do as many as possible um, without you know you want to go to the edge so you just kind of seal the sheet metal together with each other, but you don't want to go too close to the edge. And I'll try to do that where you burn through it. Yeah, you know, you want to be close, but not burn through it. Like there. See, I was directly on the edge, so the heat itself actually burned through it. You don't want to get that close to the edge. You want to be close, just so the weld sees it, see, seals it. And maybe like, you see these couple of welds right here that I did a few minutes ago. I go in between them. So now that the, the three of them built the series, it's almost like a solid weld when you keep going back over it. And the more you go over it and fill in those little gaps in between each other, you're actually almost doing a solid weld as if you were doing a MIG or you know, or, or brazing, you'd have a solid weld to help keep the mo any kind of moisture out from getting in between it. Now the extra smoke you're seeing is actually I'm burning through because I have it laying on the wood. And you can see how strong the weld is. It's going through the two pieces of metal, front to back, front to back. And you can actually see the divots like pushing through from the heat. So you're getting a solid, solid weld on this that's not going to come through and, and break apart. These welders are amazing, but yet a lot of people don't realize that they're out there for doing this kind of work, for, for doing rust repair or restoration for quarter panels or putting quarter panels on or, or floors in the car. These things are just amazing and you can see it not only went through the metal but the heat was actually burning the wood itself. Now if that was a quarter panel, I mean you, you can see already, look how how level that is, I mean how straight that is. First putting a, you know, like taking a MIG welder and mig, MIGging a, you know, a bead all the way across that. You don't have a lot of work to do. <clears throat> so right now it's hot, but what you would do is let it cool down for a few minutes. Take your grinder, whether you use the four inch grinder or we actually have the five inch disc pads, but I just don't have it handy right here for the video. So I'm going to clean up the weld, the edge, where the weld is. take me to clean the weld up all the way across here you're looking at probably six inches across and I got the series of welds it took me 30 seconds to clean it up first grinding and grinding to get the beads off of the bay you know, that's how you can just you know if it comes up a little but you can see how straight that is this is actually if this was a quarter panel and you put your patch panel on over the rest of you're ready to go this cools down, you're ready to put your aluminum, uh, all metal or aluminum metal over the, over the seam to 
to seal it up from, from moisture and you're ready to do your body work on it. I mean it's smooth and it's actually from pushing it down pushing it down while you're welding you're actually you're actually bending the metal into each other so it's like plastering a wall where you, the edges where you got you know it kind of concaves in you know for, for putting it on there so you could build it up there and your body work just goes so much faster the, all the labor is just so much easier and faster doing it this way and I just wanted to do a video because because I get a lot of people asking me about this welder and what I actually use it for when we're doing our restoration work so again this welder is uh, this is the Lenko Spot Mark II. This is their newer, one of their newer versions of the welder. Uh, this thing retails, depending where you find it, find it, uh, sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars plus your tax and shipping and everything. But if you do any kind of work on older cars, any restoration, floor work, replacing quarter panels or door panels or or rust repair, this is the welder you need to get.